Detroit police tell us that the suspect was armed during that break in that happened just before 3:30 this morning. Let's get right out to our Sean Lay. He has been gathering more information. He joins us now from the scene. Sean. Good afternoon, Evra. We want to make this clear to everyone on the east side. This is a big deal. We're talking about four suspects Detroit police are looking for right now. I just spoke with this young victim's father and grandmother. They detailed a home invasion, an armed home invasion. And during this home invasion, the, the father says his 12 year old says he was sexually assaulted by one of these gunmen who was holding a gun up to his head. From what I can tell now, he's really shaken up from the process. Of everything he's holding strong because he wasn't going to let them see him not keep his cool. This is the father of the 12 year old boy who was terrorized and brutalized in his own home early this morning. It happened on Beaconsfield near Outer Drive on Detroit's east side. Dad was at work. His one year old and his wife were asleep upstairs. The 12 year old boy was inside with his grandmother when three very young men burst into the home. They demanded cash and cell phones. They held a gun up to the 12 year old's head and the father says that gunman sexually assaulted his son. That's why he's at the hospital now, but he tried to molest my son. That father and grandmother headed right over to Children's Hospital where that 12 year old is being treated and checked out right now. Police we know looking for four suspects here, not three, but four. Three went in the house. The description right now, white t-shirt on the gunman with a white, uh, white sweatshirt on the gunman with a white t-shirt over his face. The other two had black hoodies on. It was a getaway car and a getaway driver. No description there. We continue to work this for new information. We'll update this for you at four and five o'clock tonight. Back to you. So very disturbing. Sean, thank you for the update there.